Hello world! In an ideal world, you sit down to write music, inspiration strikes, and you smash out a hit. Yeah, baby! But in reality, inspiration comes and goes, and it often takes multiple sessions to finish a track. For this reason, keeping notes as you go inside your DAW is invaluable. So let's go through the motions of how to keep useful notes for yourself directly in the DAW and some examples of the sorts of things that are really useful to note down. Let's get started. The main places to choose from when keeping notes in the DAW are the master channel, individual tracks, and directly on the timeline itself. The master channel is great for keeping general notes about the song, like the key that it's in. If, like me, you're no Jacob Collier, <laughs> keeping a note of the key removes the headache of having to figure it out every time you come back to the project. I'm using the free Max for Alive device Notepad by Elephant for this, and M Notepad by Melda is a great alternative for any DAW. For Ableton users, there are plenty of free Max for Live devices that let you write directly onto the track. I especially like Notepad for its simple, clean interface, and the unusual spelling makes it really quick to search for in the browser. So in addition to the key of the song, the master channel is ideal for writing up a few quick points on what you need to work on next time you open the project. Just before you have to finish up for the day, take just a few seconds to write out what you need to work on next while the inspiration is still fresh in your head. So next time you open the project, you can get to work right away on the things that matter, rather than wasting time figuring out where you are wanting to go with the track. A to-do list on the master channel is also ideal for collabs. Come at me, bro! You can leave notes to each other about what needs done directly in the project. That way, there's no confusion as to what note was meant for which version of the project file. Finally, on the master channel, it can sometimes be useful to leave a note of what inspired the track in the first place. That way, you can try and tap into that inspiration every time you reopen the project long after the initial magic has drifted off. Moving on, let's look at adding comments on individual tracks. This isn't really the place to be keeping general notes or to-do lists, as they would just get lost, but what can be useful on occasion is just to keep a note for yourself on anything slightly unusual that you've done, to remind yourself why something is the way it is the next time you come across it. It's worth pointing out here that you can add comments directly into the track info view in Ableton without any plugins or Max for Live devices. Simply right click on the track and select edit info text. I have to admit I was pretty excited by this built in feature at first and I tried to make this my go to way of keeping notes back in the day, but I found it to be almost too integrated. I'd often forget to glance over down there to check for notes or oftentimes I just don't even have the info view visible. But that was just my experience, so it's worth pointing out in case that's something you'd like to try. The final place to make really useful notes is on the timeline itself. Sometimes inspiration hits you in such a way that you can hear in your head how the whole song plays out or a particular section. If you know you're not going to get exactly what's in your head down onto the project quick enough, just sketch out the parts first. Using blank MIDI clips, quickly jot down the different parts you're hearing. Anything you don't finish right away is there as a prompt, ready to fill in. You can also drag in ready-made loops and samples without worrying for the time being if they work or not, and just rename the clip to remind yourself to rework it later. So, as uninspired as note-taking may seem, I hope you can take away from this video how you can use it as a tool to actually get the most out of your moments of inspiration. Who would have thought? Not me! And if you have your own uses for keeping notes on your productions, please share them with us in the comments below. It's always a real delight to read about your own uses and workflows. Click.